Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Star Wars Jedi Survivor on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on Jedi Master difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now in the previous video, Kel Kestis over here bamboozled the Senator by pretending that he was a prisoner so that we could gain access to the Senator's ship so that we could collect some military intel. Now unfortunately, BD-1 over here placed a electric magnetic pulse grenade onto the spaceship and when it detonated, it turned off all of the ship's systems and it kind of floated off to the other side of Coruscant. So we've been making our way through Coruscant, battling through a bunch of stormtroopers. We've met up with our buddy Bode over here and thankfully the spaceship has finally crash landed over there. So we're getting relatively close to it now and we should be able to get the military intel. And I think the Senator is also on that ship as well. So maybe we can take him prisoner. But yeah, it's pretty much what happened in the previous video. So let's get straight into things. Now I have played a little bit off camera. I've gotten a little bit better at parrying, a little bit. I still rely on dodging, but I have got a little bit better. So hopefully we won't suffer any deaths. <laughs> I don't think we died in the previous video, did we? Don't think we did, hopefully we didn't. This place is a ghost town. Coruscant's changed a lot over the last few years. These days, just being outside that is more trouble. All right. We want to make sure we check every nook and cranny in this game because not only do you find collectibles, but you can also find uh, skill points hidden in little nooks and crannies and also um, force upgrades and stuff like that. So you want to search around in this game. Don't just follow the main path, otherwise you'll be caught with your pants down if you're playing on a higher difficult way because you'll be missing out on like force upgrades and things like that. So do look around in all the nooks and crannies in this game. Just like the first game, basically. Speaking of trouble, let's avoid that patrol. Agreed. Oh, we could kick their ass. Yeah, we could kick their ass. How many's there? Maybe about 20? Maybe less? Oh, it looks like they've got some of those black droids over there that blow themselves up, though. <laughs> got some company, and it isn't friendly. Nothing personal. Oh, shit! Oh, for God's sake! That was your fault, Bode. <laughs> Oh, you blew it up right at the worst time. Jesus Christ. Uh, I hate probe droids. Same here. Yeah, they are by far the worst flipping enemy in this game. Actually, there are some worse enemies that we're going to meet later. <laughs> I do like how easily the normal stormtroopers die though. Literally one hit and they're dead. <laughs> it's beautiful. Contact. All right, let's dance. Oh, watch out, watch out. A good way of killing them actually. Obviously deflect their bullets at them, but another good way of killing them is to jump up and just slice them. Attack it. There you go. It's not, it's not really a good idea to reflect the um, blaster bolts because then after they've taken a hit or two, then they zoom at you and they uh, they blow up. Whereas if you just chop them instead, they die before they can detonate on you. Is that bold? How'd you get over there so quickly? I'm having a bit of trouble seeing at the moment. I don't know if you can see, my eye might be a bit red. I managed to stab myself with my toothbrush. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, everything's a bit blurry at the moment. So yeah, I should have waited until my eye was feeling a bit more normal. I just started recording because it was, it was 20 past eight. It was time to start recording. But yeah, I stabbed myself. Oh, fucking hell. That was predictable, wasn't it? Oh, sweet. Oh yeah, this is a very good move. You can slow down time temporarily. And I think you can upgrade it as well, so it becomes more powerful. <laughs> I do like that you can dismember the human enemies in this game. Because I swear in Fallen Order, human enemies couldn't be, like, dismembered. Enemies down. 
They got flipping annihilated. I better take a stim actually. I need a stim, buddy. Feeling great. <laughs> I want to know what's inside those stims that's going to make you feel great, Cal. Trigger fingers itchy. Oh, watch out. Oh, shit. Once again, I'm failing to parry. There you go. That's how you want to do it. That'll teach him. Lovely. Oh, also, um, I should have mentioned this in the uh, previous video, but um, just like Dark Souls. I think BD wants you to knock that down. <laughs> now I'm taking orders from a droid. Do I actually need to go this way yet? Gotta get up there. Any ideas? One second, one minute, Bode. Oh shit, what happened to you? Man, you're having a bad day, you are, man. Look, we broke his back. <laughs> but just like Dark Souls, if you die in this game, um, in Dark Souls, obviously, you drop your souls on the floor and you need to get back and reclaim your souls. Otherwise, you lose all the souls and that's detrimental to you leveling up all of your stats. Well, in this game, if you die, the enemy that killed you will take all of your uh, all of your experience and stuff, and you need to go back and smack that enemy once, and uh, you'll regain all of your skill points. Let's double back. So, uh, yeah, if you do die, just be aware you are going to lose a bunch of your experience, and you will have to find that enemy again and fight it again. Okay, we was going the right way then. It was just a collectible over there. Okay. Well, we're not doing too bad at the moment. I'm almost full health and I've got one stim left, so I'm still going too badly. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm going to have to push that over there then, anyway. Lovely. The Emperor turned the Jedi Temple into his palace. Yeah, that's what the Empire does best. Take something you love and make it something you can't stand the sight of anymore. I thought that happened in the previous episode. I mentioned that during the cinematic, but I wasn't 100% sure if that actually was the Jedi Temple covered in like the uh, Emperor's banners, but I guess I was right. So thanks for that, Cal. Thanks for confirming it, buddy. <laughs> I don't like saying things in my videos that end up being wrong. Don't want to mislead the audience. Not long. A few jobs here and there. Well, I could tell you impressed him. That isn't easy. Well, I'm good at what I do, and I don't ask the wrong questions. That combination opens to open doors. Hold L2 to grab ropes from afar. Ah, oh, yes. I remember doing this in the first game. Be able to use that crane to get across the bridge. Mm. Using the Empire's tools against him. Okay. Uh, which we need to go. I think there's a different. A Jedi here? Oh, here we right? go. Is, this no might be it. Does this lead to a meditation no spot? Is there a meditation spot around here, I think? Or is this where... Does it lead back to one? I think it does. Oh no, that's where I fell down. Oh, it's... Uh, okay, I think there is going to be a meditation spot coming up in a minute, so we should be okay. we still got a stim at the moment, we'll be alright. I think we have to go down that way, if I remember correctly. There's a different direction you can go that leads to a meditation spot. Oh, there you go. That's how you parry B Wolf. Well done, buddy. Oh, look at that cheeky shit. Oh, you fucker. I'm trying to flip and deflect the bolts. Ha, there you go. That's how we parry. Just when you parry, if you press L1 and you fail to parry, keep L1 hit held down because then you'll block instead so you don't take damage. I, I keep tapping it and letting go and that's what's causing all of the issues. 
Oh yeah, this definitely leads to a shortcut. A meditation spot. Yep, there we go. This is where we started the video, ain't it? Okay. Right. How are we doing for skills? Well, we, we already bought one, didn't we? Right, I'm going to get a health upgrade. Because, uh... Some of these are going to be very bloody useful early on. Lovely. To be honest, the survival and basically the force upgrades and the uh, survival upgrades are probably the best ones to grab, really, on a higher difficulty. The um, the other ones, the uh, like lightsaber ones, they just give you extra abilities for your lightsaber, but you could do just fine doing normal attacks with your lightsaber, so... It's probably good to focus on survival on a higher difficulty. Just keep yourself alive longer. But there are some very good lightsaber uh, attacks as well. So, yeah. <laughs> it's whatever you prefer, I guess. you everything I have. We're here to protect you. I'm sure that's worth a few more credits. Scumbags. Basically doing like what the Mafia used to do. Okay. That's where we came from, ain't it? So where are we going then? We can't go through there. Where are we going? I don't think I can go back either. Let's have a look on the map. I don't even know where that is. <laughs> Looks like it was basically where we just was. Can I actually get back over it? Oh, okay, there you go. Thankfully, Cal can jump. It's probably up here, ain't it? Where the uh, yeah, where the stormtroopers were. Yep. Okay. And that leads back to the shortcut. Yep. Okay. So we go down this way. Oh shit! I didn't rest at the bloody meditation spot, did I? God damn it! All right, let me quickly do that. Sorry, I'm faffing around. I apologise. Let's stop. There we go. Sorry about that, Bode. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. We've got contact. Don't you coming? We're on, Mr. Oh, that was brutal. Stop moving and fight. There we go. Nice. <laughs> nice. I thought we were trying to reach the, uh, the crane. Right, let's have a look where I actually am there. Yeah, so it's down here. No. Oh, we could get some revenge on this git for, for hitting me. <laughs> oh, if they glow red, you gotta dodge. Which is fine by me, I don't wanna parry. Really didn't like you. 
Don't think he was a fan of you either. Hmm. I don't see a way up. Let's look around. Looks like BD found something. Did you BD? Find something, buddy? What's he got? Ascension cable. Worker sees him for construction now. Can you repair it? Uh, cable's a bit frayed. Not in bad shape. Should be a quick patch job. Hmm. Uh. So I heard you fought the Empire on Kashyyyk. Yeah. Hijacked a walker and broke open an Imperial prison camp single-handed. That one was BD. Just the two of you. And some friends. What about you, new guy? Win this for the credits? The credits never hurt. But, uh... I have a daughter. Kata. I don't get to see her as often as I'd like, but at least I can provide for her. Must be hard, being away from her. Mm. Is her mother? She's gone. The Empire took her from us. Sorry. Taking a lot of people. More every day. <clears throat> You ever use one of those? I'll figure it out. It was a scrapper on Brocco. <laughs> You've been through a lot for someone so young. Just trying to survive. Aren't we all? Was that a grappling hook? Ascension cable. Press L2 to grapple to certain points in the world. Lovely jubbly. Can't be a grappling hook, can ya? He even does it with style, don't he? He's such a show-off, ain't he, Cal? Absolute show-off. There's no need to do a little backflip at the end of there, is there? Watch, look, look at him. Watch him, really, look. Oh, no, he didn't do it that time. He was feeling embarrassed because I called him out on it. But he was showing off the first time. <laughs> what do you mean, Michael? I've just got here, mate. Relax. Okay, no, you like the YouTube comment section. Stop for two seconds and they give you shit. It wasn't so hard. Back to the bridge. Hope the crew's doing all right. Gabs gets bored, she might slice into Imperial comps for fun. She that good? Too good. Syndicate trained, but got on the wrong side of her employers. Oh, I was talking about his new crew. Bravo used to fly for the Republic. Ex-military. That explains a lot. I just start working with Coop and Liz. Cantina on Norsed. Bounty Hunter got the drop on me. Twins threw him down a mine shaft. Friends ever since. I know the two, I know the two dog ones, didn't I? Yeah, the two dog ones are flipping, decided to keep pushing me over and over again. Breathe. So he basically went all that way just to create a grappling hook. Because we've ended up where we was at already. Okay, so we need to go that way. All right, one second then, because I'm not sure if we've been this way, have we? Let's have a quick look over here, because I don't, oh God, careful cow. I love how his hair flip flows, <laughs> flows around when he runs. Just ends up becoming proper messy. But I don't remember if we came over here. Might be a locked door. Oh no. Oh, oh, no. oh, no, we have been this way. Yeah, okay. Just making sure. Like I said, you want to check every nook and crown. You don't want to be missing those skill points and stuff. Okay, so we're going this way now. Yep, and then we're going to go over that way, do some wall running. Got our uh, grappling hook, and we should reach the spaceship. Okay. Solid crew, Custis. Hope I'm pulling my weight. You got us to the Senator. Sounds like you want to 
Man, I love the platforming in this game. It's so fluid and smooth. It's great. Now, good to see you. Hey, Bravo. No job ever goes according to plan, does it? What fun would that be? How's the new guy doing? Bit of a talker, but good in a fight. Huh, I'll take it. Yeah, I've sliced the yacht. Senator can't call for help, but he's locked in pretty tight. You try knocking? Any sign of Cal? Batista! Batista! I just bet the twins at the Senator had you in there stuffed and mounted. Hey, I want to cut at that. Hey, Cal, if you die, I get the mantis, right? Sorry, Gabs. Not mine to give. Hmm. So, what's the plan? That yacht's a side in our rim city. The senator has military intel on his personal terminal here. Could give us a fighting chance against the Empire. Problem is, Captain's secure with blast doors. Even the twins can't pry those bad boys open. How are we getting in? You fellas got the yacht down, Jetpack. Then I'll work my slicer magic. <laughs> with my lovely assistant. I'll grab our transport. Be back before you know it. Let's do this. Twins, get Cal across that gap. You chop, Jesus. What should I do? You got a jetpack. Use it. Copy that. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, Gabs has got a very sassy attitude. Oh dear. Let's just have a quick look around before we go onto the yacht. Don't want to leave anything. Anything down here? Nope. Well, it was completely pointless, wasn't it? Alright, let's get onto the ship. I'm assuming we're not going to kill the Senator because, you know, Cal's a good boy. Especially if he's surrendered. And I don't think the center is going to pull out a lightsaber and start fighting me. So I'm assuming we're not going to take him down. But hopefully we can find this military intel on there. <laughs> Lovely. Well done, boys. Thanks, twins. Keep your eyes sharp. Bravo, Just appreciating the view. What am I looking for? Two beams wrapped around the yacht. You gotta take a lot of torque. I'm talking Jedi torque. I think I can handle that. Nah, so you want me to use the force to push out those pipes? All right. Hey, Cap. I tried to move those beams, but yeah, Gab's giving me the heads up. All right. <laughs> I like the subtle little Star Wars theme tune in the background. Very beautiful. First beam's down, Gabs. Can you tell the twins to pull down the yacht? On it. Scoop, Liz, your turn. Hold on. There's a factory vent that'll cook you medium rare. All clear, Cal. Long way to drop. Be careful. I'm always careful. <laughs> Corita, saved your ass. You owe me a ship. You definitely ain't always careful, Cal. Loosened it up for you. Just the fact that you keep trying to do a lot of stylish stuff instead of just landing on platforms proves that you're not very careful. Nice job, Cal. Hop on. We'll bring you down. I'm on, Gab. Twins, yacht's all yours. What up? Hey, I don't know if I can. You coming? Crew's waiting on you, slowpoke. All right. Well, sorry, I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> when I did this off camera, I fell to my death, and then I respawned on top with you lot. And now, time for me and my lovely assistant to show you how it's done. Back. 
Did he punch him? Yeah, we had unfinished business. Give us your terminal passcode. Impossible. They'll execute me. So I'll execute you, buddy. Now, which tool of negotiation should I start with first? Didn't you call me sharp tongued? This one is blunt. Well, it will have to do. Oh, well, maybe we should do that. To you, eh? If that's how you're treating people, Senator, torturing them, maybe I should torture you. Change his mind. Press R1 to mind trick characters with an indicator over their head. Ah, oh, sweet. You will give me access to your terminal. I can't. Better offer a reward. Unlock it and you'll be rewarded. I'll be rewarded. <laughs> I will unlock the terminal. You weak minded fool. You will subscribe to my channel. And smack that like button. If he moves, blast him. Oh, my pleasure. All right, BD. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Everywhere. Not the breakthrough we were hoping for. Years of fighting. Nothing we've done has slowed them down. What did you expect? You lost. The Republic is dead. It was killed by politicians just like you. Do you think I wanted Utapal to join the Empire? The compromises I made created a future for my people. I've been to Utapau, Senator. They spit your name out like a curse. At least they are alive! Why fight when you can't win? Surrender tastes bitter at first, Cal. But sweetens with time. Free me. And we'll cut a deal. No, Senator. Someday when your children see this, they'll know the Jedi never stopped fighting for them. How disappointingly naive. Hey, the twins are getting that ravenous look. Let's wrap it up before we have another Corita incident on our hands, yeah? What about him? He's coming with us. Okay, let's take their food to go. Another one. So what did that actually show? Did that show all of the... What are you beeping about, BD-8? BD-1, I mean. Oh, there we go. Wanted to scan the desk for some reason. But did that uh, military intel just basically show a bunch of... planets that the Emperor Empire had taken over? Yeah, I guess that's that must have been what it's showing. Lucky you, Senator. You got a date with Saw Gerrera. He'll kill me. Oh, I don't know about that. Depends on whether you cooperate. That's a skill Senator's prize, right? Cooperation. Batisa! Batisa! Kulka! <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I agree, boys. We get what we need? Yeah. Wonder what Saul has for us next. First, we gotta get this intel topside. Yeah, Saul Griever, I think the name is, is our boss. We got a plan for the senator? Still thinking it through. We could always ask Coob and Liz to see whether the senator can fly. <laughs> Let me go. Or your friends will suffer. Oh, that's a bit flipping rude. You'll pay for this, Cal Kestis. They'll find you sooner or later, Jedi. Yeah, alright, of course they will. 
Is there time for a quick tour of Say John's terminal? I could see if the senator's got anything else we could use. And by we, you mean dirt you can sell to make some credits? <laughs> you can fight the good fight and still get yours along the way, Cal. That's war. Maybe next time. Fine. But lunch is on you, and the twins are starving. I've changed my mind. We should always target the Empire. Yeah. Feels good to make a difference. No. They're loaded. Filthy rich. Make the huts look clean by comparison. I bet this senator has more credits down to this. <laughs> Oh dear, Senator. Oh dear, buddy. You have been caught harboring a traitor. Oh, watch out, watch out. What is this? Under city meats did that just say? That's disgusting. Why they got the meat just sitting on a conveyor belt like this? That is nasty. We gotta get to the mantis. I thought we killed the ninth sister in um, the Fallen Order. But by the looks of it, it looked like she had a robotic hand. Did we just cut off her hand or something? I don't even remember. I definitely remember that giant uh, Sith being in the previous game though. We'll mourn later. Gotta keep moving. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Ha! Hey you little shit. Us, buddy. Gotta stay one step ahead. I tried throwing my lightsaber at it, but obviously failed. Jump towards the walls to perform a wall jump. Oh, sweet. Oh, dear. There is only the force. I don't even really need to rest. I think I'm still full health. All set, BD. Okay. Let's have a quick look over here. Oh, is that one of those? Oh, it's one of those droids I had a fight with earlier. Just this one ain't a boss. Oh no! Oh fucking hell, he punched me in the face. <laughs> he 
Okay, what's this? Oh, these are like outfits in though. I didn't find this off camera. <laughs> Stem canister. That'll prove useful. Oh my, how did I not find that off camera? I now got three sti- oh, that's gonna make everything so much bloody easier. <laughs> so much easier. I never found this off camera. I don't know how I managed to miss this. I mean, it's not even hidden. Well, God damn it! Oh, well, at least my YouTube playthrough should go a bit better than it's going off camera. I mean, I've not really died much off camera. Mostly, I just, like, start exploring areas, because in this game, you've got legendary uh, enemies, you know, and they're, I think they're more end-game. I don't think you're supposed to fight them when you find them. I think you're supposed to fight them when you finish the game, and you've got all your skills and survival upgrades. And I come across these legendary enemies just by exploring, and then I, they just kick my ass. But I don't actually know if I'm supposed to fight them yet or not. But we will be finding a legendary enemy, probably in part four, I'd say, maybe. And I'll show you it. I don't know whether I'll kill it or not, but I'll show you it. So at least you get to see it. Beautifully done, Cal. There we go. That's how you do it, boy. Well done. Oh, look at that. It's like big slabs of kebab meat. Literally, they're just swinging around donna kebabs, isn't they? <laughs> I bet that tastes like shit. Literally what meat processing plants probably look like. Sort of like we're in Rupture Farms at the moment from Oddworld. That way's blocked. Come on. Come back later. Yep, you ain't getting through there. Because, yeah, some of them, some of them do do counter attacks. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you gotta parry up twice. Not today. Because you'll parry them, destroy some of their stamina, and then they come back for a second attack, and you got. What is that? <laughs> that, that doesn't sound good. Now I do love this. Holding up your lightsaber to illuminate an area. I like that. They could have just given him a torch or some random crap like that, but now they made it creative and fun. I think there might be something round here. Yep, this is what we want to find. Things like this. There you go. Maximum force increased. Very nice. Because then you can do more things, like you can throw your lightsaber more often, you can use your force during battles to, you know, pull enemies closer and chuck them away. Stuff like that. So you always want to find the force upgrades. But I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf War Vets. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf War Vets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully the commentary was okay. I was partially blind through most of this video, and it was kind of distracting me, and it was messing up my commentary. I don't even know how I managed to stab myself with a toothbrush. It makes no fucking sense. But yeah. But I had like a load of like toothpaste in my bloody eye and it's, it became very minty and just weird. But it's back to normal now, thankfully. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like, share and join the pack today.